Hi, in this video I'll show you how I clean the milk bottles by hand, how I sterilize them, and how I use the dishwasher to clean them, which is my most preferred method because with twins there's just so many more bottles and so much less work to do when you have a dishwasher doing it for you. For washing bottles for singletons, you'll pretty much be doing the same thing, so I hope you find this video useful. So this is where my bottle cleaning area is. The, I used to have this set up in the kitchen, but my kitchen is small and there's very little counter space. And since there were two sinks in my bedroom, I moved it here. This is Dr. Brown's bottle drying rack. I prefer drying racks that use more vertical space and stuff only one tier or the grass-like drying racks available. The rack is sitting on this sturdy and very useful shelf insert from IKEA. The space underneath is perfect for this container in which I keep and wash all bottle and pump parts. This container was in a rice cooker that we don't use anymore. I just like to move it underneath to keep the space clear. This is Dr. Brown's bottle brush. There's dishwashing liquid in this bottle and regular hand soap in this one. These are all the bottles and pump parts from last night and half the day today. With my hands in soap and hot water so frequently, it's essential for me to wear gloves. First, I rinse all the bottle parts in bottles with a little water. Otherwise, milk residues in soapy water make it a little greasy. And I add dishwashing liquid into the container and fill it with water just until the parts are immersed. I find it easy and time-saving to wash the same parts at a time. So here I'm washing all the bottle colors together. This brush comes with Dr. Brown's bottles. Now I'm cleaning all the pipes together. They call it Wendt Reservoirs, you know. <laughs> I wash all this once during midday and once at night. You know, whoever said sleep when the baby sleeps probably did not have to bottle feed their baby because I find the time to do this job only when they're asleep. Cleaning the nipples just from the inside is not enough. The outside gets greasy too. I know you're going to be seeing a lot of water flowing and wasting in this video. Trust me, I feel bad too, but sadly, this is a downside that just comes with bottle feeding. Now here's what I do. Once I clean the bottles, I pour the soapy water into the container and use the water to rinse the bottles and parts for the next cleaning session. Whew, finally done with the last bottle. Wiping the area real quick with this napkin that always stays here for this purpose. Now that we're done with the cleaning, I will show you how I sterilize all this. After boiling water in a large vessel, I leave the bottle parts, the nipples, the bottles for one minute in the water and use this kitchen strainer to take them out. Since I wash all these with hot water in the first place, I sterilize the bottles and nipples and pump parts only once in a week or two and don't find the need, neither have the time to do this every day. Next, I'll show you the dishwasher method. It is efficient to run a dishwasher only when there's a full load, whereas bottle cleaning cannot wait when the babies are unpredictably hungry. So that's the only time when cleaning them by hand is my first choice. This is how I arrange the bottles and bottle parts in the dishwasher in the top rack. And only the wheels, or went inserts as they're called, go in the spoon section. I would still wash the nipples by hand. The dishwasher does not do a good job at that. So this is how I clean the milk bottles and bottle parts. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.